Hey guys, welcome to a special edition of Gunshots. I'm here with Roberto, who is um, the product manager for Beretta Premium. Um, as I happen to be in the factory, I just thought it would be an ideal opportunity to grab him and have a look at the SL3. As you'll know, I, I um, reviewed the SL3 early this year, really, really liked it, and um, I took this opportunity to uh, just have a look at the gun a little bit closer and discuss some of the design features on, the, on this gun, which is just new out this year, and I believe it's selling very well, right? Yes, it's selling very well. Excellent. So can you tell me, just talk me through the gun, really talk me through the features? For, for sure. So this is the new SV3, mm -hmm. the latest gun we introduced last year, 2018, for the hunting gun. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this gun, we aim at the, the customer who wants a box lock gun mm -hmm. with a new style, new engraving, new technology, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, both aesthetical and uh, technical feature. Starting from the, the action, for instance, mm -hmm. we introduced a uh, different closing system, mm -hmm. which is derived from our top of the range model, mm -hmm. which features an axial lock instead of a standard crossing lock bolt. So the gun is easier to open, and also the top of the action is slimmer. Mm -hmm. That's benefiting when you're shooting upwards. Yeah. And also with these... Um, decision we came up with this um, decision we made even the the design of the gun is slimmer is thin yes and it it highlights the new uh, shape yes. that our designer work with along with the, the maestro ferdinando mm. uh, for instance another feature we introduce is are the new the new ejector yes which are very easy to extract right. and clean or what else? The barrels, they are the Optima bore barrels. Mm -hmm. So the 18.6? 18.6, yes, with the OCHP mm -hmm. chokes. And of course, wood. Mm -hmm. The wood is beautiful, yeah. class uh, four. Yeah. And its wood is personally selected by the Maestro Ferdinando. I took some photographs uh, earlier this year. The, uh, the checkering on these and the, and the detailing in the wood is absolutely just peerless. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, the, uh, the checkering is uh, handmade. Mm -hmm and it takes us up to four hours just to make the, the tackling. And moving back to the engraving, mm -hmm. this gun features a five-axis laser engraving, mm -hmm. a new technology that we developed together with a supplier, and the customer can choose between three different options, mm -hmm. the diff scroll, mm -hmm. the game scene, and the um, English uh, scroll. And with the game scene, the game scene is different the animals, I mean, are different for the 12 mm -hmm. and the 20 gauge. Right. So if you go for a 20 gauge, you will have a different game scene mm -hmm. than the 12 individual. Uh, gauge. Individual, yes. To me, my favorite one is the deep scroll. Right. I actually, I, I, I agree. Like, I really like the, the, like deep the deep scroll. Have you sold many of the mirror finish? Because they're quite unique. Let me say, yeah, quite a few. With right. the mirror finish polyed, but you have to think that it takes us 80 hours, mm -hmm. 80 hours, for just handmade cleaning and manually polishing the receiver and the spare part. Wow. So wow. it's quite delicate, but mm -hmm. the result is even more beautiful because it highlights the feature, the shape of the gun. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're awfully pretty to look at. And I, my concern when I reviewed it was what it's like to shoot. And it's so nice. It's, it's, nice. Re it's just, it was really nice to move. It, the the gun mounts perfect, beautifully, man. yeah, there's no recoil. Well, no, no beautiful. recoil, no. beautiful. beautiful. Super. I mean, anything else particularly that is a, a unique feature for this gun, new? Or? Well, by the way, for instance, uh, what is new? That the design yep. is new? Mm -hmm. Obviously. Obviously. Top of the action is new. Mm -hmm. Even design of the single spare part, the trigger mm -hmm. guard, the, the, the opening lever yes. is, uh, is new. Uh, and what else? Well, the, actually, we are selling both the 12 and mm -hmm. the 20 gauge. And I, I hope that by the end of this year, will roll out even the 28 and the 0.410 guard. Ah, okay. So you will have very soon the entire product range will available. Will they be scaled action guns as well? Scale, so the, the action... The yes, the side. action will be, will be slimmer, yes, yes, even slimmer. Okay, perfect. And what else? Of course, you can choose a lot of um, different... Th this gun, sorry, comes in different barrel lengths, mm -hmm. 28 uh, and uh, 30 inches with two different top ribs, mm -hmm. 6 by 6 or 9 by 7 mm -hmm. either in the fixed socks or with the interchangeable socks. Okay. The HP version. I did hear a, a rumor that you were going to do a sporting version. Are you going to do a sporter or is it purely going to be a game gun? No, this one is going to be an hunting gun. Right. Okay. I cannot either confirm or deny <laughs> this rumor. 
groovy. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you very much for meeting me. Um, my pleasure, pleasure was mine. Thank you very much. So last but not the least. Of course, the case. The case, because the Essel Free can review a new uh, gun, gun case mm -hmm. that we make entirely here in uh, Bretadua within the premium assembly line. Mm. This was an idea uh, which came from our president who in 2017 wanted to open an internal atelier in which we now produce and make all of the case for the Essel Tree. So uh, this, this uh, gun case uh, featured, uh, for instance, the, the locking system of the case mm -hmm. is resemble the PB logo, which is our premium gun mark. Uh, even the shape of the buckle resembles the shape of the SL3. Of course. Of course. It's nice to have. And completely handmade. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. I believe I've seen the area of the factory where these are made, and I saw it a while back when it was a pr kind of prototype. Um, these are absolutely beautiful. I this is the first time I've seen one because the gun I got from GMK didn't come with a case. Um, they're available in different finishes. You can get leather and right. Is that right? Not yet. Oh, let's okay. say. It's right. an upgrade for the double E double R version. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is the standard gun case for the SL3. Okay. And it's beautifully lined with this kind of yeah. um, checkering pattern. And is this a toolkit or is this spare parts? Or? This is a spare part, yes, okay. you're right. And these are the buckle you have to assemble okay. when you get it. Do you, these, can these be done in doubles or is it just single gun? You have buy two cases or? No, no, you, uh, you can also, if you order a pair, mm -hmm. it can get done in double, yes, for the pair, of course. Can you pick color? Mm, not yet. Okay. okay. Well, let's say that for the double E, double L models, yes, you can either choose uh, the color of the fabric. Right. Right. Internal or external? Internal and external. Fabulous. Okay. Fabulous, yeah. Groovy. Cool. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sure.